Metal Gear Solid 2 trailer was shown at E3 in 2000. There was a standing ovation. Now it's time for the next generation, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Just playing the game for the first five minutes, you'll notice that Metal Gear Solid 3 is totally different from the previous ones. First of all, the setting will be the jungle. It'll be caves. It'll be the mountains. Different settings. And the time setting will be the 1960s, when espionage was the big thing. When spies were spies. And doing all this spying in the jungle, I guess what you'll see the most is trying to hide yourself from the enemy, and the enemy trying to find you. This element of espionage will be so much stronger than any previous Metal Gear Solid. In the previous Metal Gear Solid games, the only enemies were human. But as Solid Snake in Metal Gear Solid 3, you actually have to survive in this natural environment first, before you get to the human enemies. For example, if you're in the mountains when you're climbing up a slope, your stamina is going to be affected. You're going to be tired more easily. And you'll also be affected by the weather and temperature. Like if it's cold, you might start losing your energy. To power back up, you'll need to go hunting. Lunch might be an alligator or a frog, and of course the title-making snake. But as usual, there's a signature Kojima twist. You're in the jungle and you'll see animals around. You can actually hunt these animals and eat them for food. But not only can you capture animals to eat, you can also capture them and use them as weapons. For example, you could grab a snake and maybe throw it at an enemy. So it's snake eating and snake throwing combined to help battle the environment and the enemy. But you better not forget to be stealthy. If you just stop, look around, hear something from the side, look in that direction, you'll see something. It might be an enemy. And if the enemy sees you, he's going to attack you. And that's something to be avoided. Fortunately, the MGS crew has you covered in at least five different ways. And you get to paint your face. A really big theme in Metal Gear Solid 3 is camouflage. Depending on where you are, depending on what kind of vegetation there is around you, you'll be changing your gear so that the enemies won't be spotting you as easily. If you don't change your gear, depending on where you are, they're going to find you. And where they find you will be more natural and realistic than ever before. The environment gives a whole new meaning to Welcome to the Jungle. Even with the drawing power of PlayStation 2, it was really hard to come up with an entire jungle with a natural environment, something that most video games have avoided. To create such a detailed natural environment, we ended up renewing the graphics engine and the gameplay engine as well. When you actually step into the jungle and when you're standing there, that sense of presence, you really feel like you're in a jungle. You'll also feel like you're really in the 60s. It's not an Orwellian time machine thing, but you'll be back in the 60s anyway, man. I was born in the 60s, so it really wasn't that distant of a past for me. But many of the guys on my team are young. They were born in the 70s. And for them, it was really hard for them to sort of get a grasp of what the 60s were like. We've read a lot of books and seen all the films from the 60s and listened to the music and even studied the fashion of the 60s. It's the age-old thrill of the chase that makes Snake Eater one of the truly great games of all time. I probably shouldn't be saying this because it's my own, but the gameplay, I think, is going to be awesome, especially with the element of trying to be hidden from the enemy and the enemy trying to find you. That element is just going to stand out so strongly and vividly in this game. The level of tension in this game is something you've never experienced before. I'm like, can I really release this game with all this tension? You know, it's going to be so exciting and scary in that sense. Maximum level of tension. I really think people should look forward to that.